Hello subscribers and welcome to Momentum channel. In this video, we're going to take a look at a hot penny stock that could be an exciting investment opportunity in 2021. We'll introduce the company called Check Cap Limited. Review its stock and analyze company's financials, its fundamentals and earnings projections. And lastly, I'll share my approach if I were to invest in Check Cap Limited stock. Check Cap Limited is a company that creates a screening device for colorectal cancer. Their goal is to find polyps before they possibly transform into cancer. And it does this through its C-scan medical device, which is the only preparation-free test able to do so. C-scan is a capsule that the patient takes and it passes through the body normally. While doing so, it scans the wall of the gastrointestinal tract and relays the information to the tracking system worn on the person's back. This data is then sent to physicians and can be used to create two-dimensional and three-dimensional maps of the person's inner surface of the colon. Looking at peer benchmark review, you'd notice that Czech has a market cap of over $80 million. Check stock had a one-year stock return of negative 4.9% compared to an average of 7% positive return for the healthcare equipment and supplies sector. From a stock volatility perspective, this stock has a five-year average beta of 0.47, which is a lot less than the beta of 0.78 for the sector, suggesting lower levels of volatility in the stock price compared to the sector median. Beta is a measure of the volatility or systematic risk of a security or a stock compared to the market as a whole. A beta of less than one suggests generally less volatility in the stock price compared to the overall market. The check shares 52 week high remained at $2.93 and its latest trading price of $1.73 suggests that the stock is down 41% since its 52 week peak, but it still shows an impressive seven times uh, more than the price per share of 24 cents in its 52 week low price. After registering a 12% upside in the last session, the Czech stock is showing a five-day price performance of 260% and price performance of 318% over the past 30 days. Based on one analyst offering 12 months price targets for check cap on tip ranks, the price target for the stock is at $1.50, implying a decline of 13% to the stock's current value. However, the stock is showing a Finbox fair value of $1.65 based on its real or underlying intrinsic worth. This shows a downside of 4.7% with a very high level of uncertainty. The fair value is calculated based on Finbox fair value methodology. It is worth mentioning that according to the investor observer, Check Cap uh, Limited gets a very positive evaluation from uh, the company's ranking system. An overall rank of 78, uh, which means that the, the site rates Check Cap Limited about 78% of the stocks based on their comprehensive methodology that they use on their site. For investors who are interested to invest in check, they can take advantage of daily stock volatility and place a limit buy order to purchase the shares at the prices that they are comfortable with. Personally, if I decide to buy shares of check, I would aim to get them at the prices below 80 cents per share and only in stages and not buying all my intended number of shares at once. This gives me a chance to dollar cost average should the stock price decline drastically below my entry point. An assessment of the company's future growth based on Simply Wall Street suggests that the check cap forecasted annual earnings growth is at negative 6.8%. It is worth mentioning that the check cap individual insiders hold 7.4% of total outstanding shares, with institutional holders owning 2.8% of the share, while about 90% of the shares are owned by the general public. Looking at the company's latest quarterly earnings report, which was announced on November 18th, the company released its financial results for the third quarter and nine months ending on September 30th, 2020. A number of key highlights for the company based on its latest quarterly earnings report include having submitted the investigational device exemption, IDE application, to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, on November 18th, 2020, for pivotal study of C-SCAN. They're also continuing the preparation for the U.S. pivotal study, including progress in establishing supporting device manufacturing, supply chain, and quality controls, while initiating the substantial expansion of the clinical data set on average risk patients at leading uh, sites. 
Alex Owadia, the chief executive officer of CheckCap, indicated uh, in their last quarter earnings that the CheckCap team remains laser focused on the company's goal of advancing C scan towards final clinical stages and market acceptance as a patient friendly uh, colorectal cancer screening option for the detection of precancerous polyps before they may transform into cancer. Company showed operating loss of approximately $3.6 million for the three months ending on September 30th, 2020, unchanged from the operating loss in the same period in 2019. As for net loss, uh, they had uh, reported the $3.6 million in net loss for the three months ending on September 30th, 2020, compared to approximately $3.5 million for the same period in 2019. Cash and cash equivalents, restricted cash and short-term bank deposits for the company totaled approximately $21.7 million as of September 30th, 2020, compared with approximately $16.4 million as of June 30th, 2020, and approximately $8 million as of December 31st, 2019. During the third quarter of 2020, the company completed a warrant exercise financing, resulting in gross proceeds of approximately $9.6 million, with approximately 8.7 million in net of offering expenses. The company believes that it has now sufficient capital to fund its ongoing operations and plans for approximately the next 12 months. The number of outstanding ordinary shares was 46,237,551 as of November 17, 2020, showing some share dilution for the company. CheckCap Limited is expected to release its next earnings in March 2021. There are a number of risk analysis factors for investors to be aware of about check. Uh, the first one is the earnings are forecasted to decline by an average of 6.8% per year for the next three years, as we discussed earlier. Moreover, the check stock had a highly volatile uh, share price over the past three months and shareholders have been substantially diluted in the past year. The company is also currently unprofitable and not forecasted to become profitable over the next three years. That said, as a penny stock, if investors manage to get a hold of uh, the stock at low prices and being vigilant about the stock price and trying to take advantage of those ups and uh, downs of the market, they might be able to uh, get good returns in a short span of time. Nonetheless, the stock remains to be a speculative and rather risky option. So make sure to do your own due diligence before uh, you decide to buy um, into this stock or any other opinion stock for that matter that we introduce here on uh, this channel. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you found this beneficial and you gained something of value from it. Do let me know if you are already invested in Check Cap Limited or are you perhaps considering to add Check Cap Limited to uh, your portfolio in the stock market. I would love to hear from you. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and share it with myself and the rest of our followers here on Momentum Channel. If you haven't done that already, please don't forget to subscribe to Momentum channel. Here on Momentum, we post weekly various videos about investing in the stock market, cryptocurrencies, finances, and financial freedom. Hope to see you next time.